Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf down here at the new Dallas Second Swing store, joined by a very special guest today. It is Mark Brooks, a seven-time PGA Tour winner, uh, PGA champion in 1996. Uh, very special guest today, and we're going to have some fun with it. We've got a very old fairy wood, and we've got a couple of new clubs with you too here. So um, that is a tailor-made railer. Uh, this is a club that you played back in the day. And I actually hit a couple very important shots for your career. So uh, talk to me about that club, um, when you played it, and let's also maybe go back to Valhalla and uh, talk about that shot as a 96 PGA. I definitely use this golf club. I'm a pretty low ball hitter, so e even with the blotter ball, I had a little trouble with like strong fairway wood, mm -hmm. three woods, getting them up in the air much. My shot shape didn't contribute to that. I was a little bit inside out guy. So I had a little trouble anyway. So uh, this is a 16 degree. Mm -hmm. I think the rails, it moved the CG down a hair, made sure. it a little easier to get the ball in the air, more so than turf interaction, in my opinion, it moved the CG. I just had success with this club. I actually used a di couple different shafts in this one, but this one right here is actually the club I used for most of 96. And I did hit this twice on that Sunday yeah. that I won. In regulation, I put it in the front bunker and got up and down. In the playoff, I knocked it on the green with this club and ended up two putting to win the tournament. But I didn't use, this was my only fairway wood in my bag in those days. We were laughing about it earlier. Yeah. I actually had a two iron in the bag. <laughs> I didn't use it much, but it was in there. So I used this. I hit my driver off the ground quite a bit. Little, shallow, obviously, shallower, shallower head. And uh, this club was awesome for me. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, there's, you talked about the two iron piece. That I, now with the ball and then the loft of irons, there's barely any two irons or three irons even in bags oh, no. anymore. Um, and I think, so part of that, we maybe have a hybrid we might play with here in this video as well. We do, actually for an experiment, we're gonna let it let it go. So I have a three hybrid that I think will go further than basically this three wood. I, I think it'll carry further, it'll go further. Yeah, yeah. And then we have a three wood to show as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, I remember my numbers. This, if I hit a fade, this was probably somewhere between, on a stock shot, 217 to 220 in the air. I could probably turn it over and get it. I, I know I could. I could get a little over 230 in the air with this. Okay. From a just a decent lot. So that was my numbers back in 96, 97, 98 in that range. And they're definitely different today. Yeah. And I think, well, now also we have the different golf ball too. That, no doubt. So that'll definitely change things for you a little bit. But I'm intrigued because we did just film the, uh, the irons, old versus new irons. And it was really fun to watch you at golf shots. So I kind of want to get and watch you at more golf shots. So the other reason it's so small is because this is basically, this, I'll paraphrase, steel. This is more, this is steel, right, steel right, head. Yeah, yeah. This is a little bit before the exotic materials were being used yeah. so they could blow them up and start moving the CGs yeah, they, around. So mm -hmm. the biggest difference between this besides the size is the CG location. It would actually have been higher in this golf club than today's. Right, right. And I think, well, too, you also you have titanium and maybe carbon in some of these oh, fairy yeah. woods that you can you know, the footprint can be huge. Um, with this one, if you made that club head any bigger with steel, it would be way too heavy and no you doubt. have problems. So um, it's definitely a different golf club to look at. I'm still laughing at it when I look at how yeah. small that thing looks compared to a fairy wood that's it's, from it's today. It's bigger than a golf ball though. But that's that's all you okay, need. So right. let's, uh, should we hit some shots? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so we've got the railer um, and you said you, this plays kind of like a three and a half wood, right? I mean, it's uh, on the club, it's at 16 degrees, but I know you had it lofted down one, so. I did a little bit and it was, again, you correct term, probably three and a half, make, strong four wood maybe would be sure. the, the term I would use. And it was pretty versatile for a while for me. We're gonna see if I can hit it in the front bunker again. Okay. You know, the other thing I'll, I'll point out, the this shaft's about 90 grams, and I don't play 90 gram three, dry, three woods anymore, or, you know, long fairway woods. Boy, was that a nasty shot. Let's fix <laughs> that. So we gotta fix two things here. We do have to remember too, I mean, the ball is gonna dive out of the sky a lot quicker with this ball than that one, but that was, that's kind of the uh, solid Draw it was. I, I fixed to, I fixed the start line and path a little bit. So that was an, er, an acceptable shot. Quite a bit of curve. You can see that's yeah. about 15 yards worth. So uh, we all, we talked about this in the iron video too. But you do you prefer you pl you prefer a draw with the irons? Is that the same with a with the wood too? Yes, I prefer a draw, but I'm forced to play a lot a lot of soft cuts now, just so I can have a little more effective shot. So. 
There's some more ball speed. Oh yeah. So how about height wise when you were playing this? Did you get it any higher than, you know, like you got a couple here, 60s to 70s? I would say this would have been more in the 80, okay. probably 80, 85 yeah. foot range. I mean, with, with a lot of balls probably, you know, able to you stay know, at up 62, there. You know, 62, it's a little harder for me to get the juices going here. I'd have to move the ball forward. And I'll be perfectly honest, this, this grip is really hard to hold on <laughs> yeah, to. So, yeah. It's, uh, it has spent 25 years in closets and garages. Yeah. That's uh, one reason we kept the, the moist towel, so. Oh yeah. This is, uh, this is what it takes to hit the older clubs nowadays. I thought about re-gripping it before I came up, but I thought, no, that would, that would ruin the club, so. <laughs> I actually have a few dozen of these left. They're pretty crusty, but <laughs> sadly I have to wet the grip. It's like having a rain glove on. All right, we'll go for one good shot here. Thin. There well, you go. That's dead straight. It's a little Almost low. Almost topped it. Let's move on. <laughs> okay. So, so the best shot I hit was about what? Two, yeah. Two so 10, I'm going to grab that. Cover, that carry? best shot was, I think we had this one here. Here, I'll go like this. 212. 207, 212. So we had, yep. We had uh, 207 here and then we had a 212 like this. So these are kind of the two best ones right here. Um, either one of those, but you know, you're right about 65 to 70 feet in the air on these. Um, and then... Yeah, you're right about 210 to 230, 235 with the total. So now that we know that, let's switch here now. So we'll go. This is this is so this is a hybrid. This is a G430 uh, three hybrid. This is G430 three hybrid with a 70 gram. So I lost about probably 18 to 20 grams. Yeah, you also have a shorter golf shaft, I presume. It's going to be a little bit shorter in length. Yeah, how about, yeah, talk to me about what you see there. <laughs> it's a little different. Well, I've got a shorter golf club, but I have a, a larger head. Yeah. Obviously, friendlier look. Way, way, sits on the ground better. Frames the ball. This is like, that could be a problem, and it was. <laughs> my, my, my numbers proved it. So one reason I'm doing this is you go, I, I personally believe I'll hit this club that's three inches shorter. Yeah. Two and a half to three inches shorter. It I'll further. carry it further, and it'll be a far more quality golf shot. All right. I like it. I like it. We're doing some, some uh, you know, hypotheses here. Ooh, the ball speed's very similar. Game over. Height, 93 feet. 93 feet. There's carry, that high draw you like. Carry 211. Where was our carry before? 210? 212 yeah. was the best. 212 is the best carry? Yeah, that's, I mean, you, you kind of nailed it. Oh, there's some speed. A little lower. Still carry, I mean, 245. <laughs> All right, I'll go for one high bomb and then I ought to be able to get close to 220 out of this if I'll make a decent golf swing here. That's pretty darn close. You're getting closer. 217. But it, it does prove our point. Oh yeah, totally, <laughs> totally. Which, I mean, obviously in 30 some years, the technology is gonna come very far, but. That one didn't curve much. Two twenty-two. There you go, pretty much uh, done deal. Yeah, you, can, you still know how to swing a golf club. Do you mind handing, getting my five wood leaning on my bag there? So we'll just move on to this because we got plenty okay. of time. That's the beauty of these. What club but is now, that one? This is a five hybrid. Oh, five hybrid. Okay. And I built it a half inch longer. So it's a hair shorter. Okay. So we're going to see how close the five hybrid can stack up to the, the old three wood. Even to that three hybrid. Yeah. This is a good example. This is going to be shorter, but not as much as you would think. So this is a little closer to my normal shaft. That was sure. really straight off the rack, a three three hybrid. Yeah. Okay. And it kicked. 
1996 oh, yeah. four woods butt, a three yep. hybrid today. There's your 200 yard shot. I'll give a little squeeze here. Bring the flight down. That'll go about 205 right there. Let's see if I'm close. That's pretty darn close. 204, 204. missed by a yard. And that's a five hybrid. And I told you earlier we were talking about it, about 200 to yeah. 205. It's crazy. And it's pretty high. So if I had a shot. So I guess here's a question. What yes. club back when you were playing, what club would you have hit for like a 200, 205 <laughs> carry? I didn't have one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I mean, I need, I would have had to have a really good lie. Yeah. And that would have been probably a smoke three iron shot. Okay. Just smoke. If it yeah. was a downhill lie, trouble. And I, I'll confess, I learned, I got this from Lee Trevino, who lives here in Dallas and yeah. a good friend of mine. And we've gotten even closer over the years as I basically quit playing. And he talked me into, and this was in the, I'm going to say this was in the 80s. Yeah. For about six or seven years, I actually carried a six wood. Really? Four wood length, six wood head. Okay. And I could do magic. Why I ever got it, took it out of the bag, the Lord only knows. But he <laughs> talked me into it because he was a great experimenter. And I remember that club. It was about a 215 club. Yeah, okay. So I could have probably scrubbed off enough with a six wood to get. Sure, maybe had a high cut yeah, or something like that. exactly. Choke yeah. up, a little high cut. And uh, so if I needed to go like up, this is the reason I use it. So if we had a firm green around 200 yards out, 195, so you, I'm gonna look like go orbit. I'm gonna that go thing. up. So this will be well over 100 feet in there. Yeah, 124. There you go. Little offline, but. That's the trajectory you're talking about though. That's right. So I could stop that golf ball. So you want to know the nutty thing? That spin rate's very close to my seven iron. <laughs> it is, yep. So that's why these are so effective. I can stop this club from 192 to 200 yards, actually at probably just as well as a seven iron. Tremendous yeah. weapon mm -hmm. to have in the back yeah. if you're not a high speed player. That's the conversation our players have all the time with players making that transition. <laughs> That one's smoke too. Started a little left now, pretty straight. So the curve there, it's about two yards. But you can see it's gonna stop because it came in. Oh yeah, you, you mean that. Where's my landing angle? I know you love that one. Oh, we'll get it up here. Landing angle, where is it? It's in the high 40s. Right here. There you go, 49. That'll stop, you know that. Oh yeah. You'd be That'll getting... stop, that's got, that's plenty of stopping power there. That's correct. All right, let's go one draw in between clubs. And we got a little longer and got a back left pin. So we're gonna, we're gonna bring it in lower. And we're gonna hook it in there. And there you go. Hook it to the back <laughs> left pin. That's tasty. But so, it's even, even still though, like that was definitely lower than the previous shots you hit, but it was still almost a hundred feet. Correct. So That's, it's just, let's, Try the three wood now. I like it. That's still a, that's a G430, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this is a G430. This is, again, I love it. It's straight off the rack, lighter shaft. This has a little, probably about 15 degrees. Gotcha. Very curious as to how much further this goes. So now we're back to comparing it to the four wood. Actually, I, I put this at 16. Okay. That was not a very good golf swing but it immediately went um, 10 yards further. Oh yeah. And this is a little lighter than my gamer. So I'll be a little more patient. All right, we got to fix something here. Come well, you're, on coach, you're, give me a lesson. Well, you're the one that won the major. I didn't win anything. 225 carry. <laughs> well, we have to fix the start line. I love it. This is started straight. So you go, Ooh, figure that out. So what is that? In my world, that's face because the path wasn't too bad. Yeah, because you're you still like that draw. So your I'm path gonna have is a out little draw. So I need to start right of the. That one did line. start a little right. Still overdrawing. Still turning it. See that one? Here's your your face angle zero point nine. Your club path six point one. Way too out. But you're still you're crushing this thing past the other three wood. 225, was that carry? What's, what's the total here? You're over 250. You're at All right. 253 with All that All right, one. let's go for cut. That's how you get rid of it. There you go. A little more effective golf shot, less curve. 
So I'd higher. probably do, I'd do a little tweaking. I'd have a little heavier shaft. Sure. But you can see that was almost 230 in the air. Yeah. That was a lot, I mean, over 100 feet with that one. Well, so let's play for it here. A little fat. I got it. <laughs> it worked out. <laughs> Carry 225. So this is where, this will be our, our course management lesson for the day on sure. this one. And I've said this to a lot of, a lot of guys. And again, I, I teach enough to be dangerous. Great players, their ball goes where they're looking. Yeah. Not necessarily where they're aiming. Okay. Two different animals. Yeah, yeah. So if you, you get on your warm-up session, my, my warm-up routine typically for years, you'd, I'd pitch a few out, get loose. Usually I was already stretched. <clears throat> I might hit six or seven nine irons, for example. That was kind of my club without aiming at anything. Yeah. Just hit them out the range. <clears throat> they would form a pattern. Then I, I could use divots or drop a club, and then I'd go back and see where they're going. If they were all patterning a little left, and my tea time was in 20 minutes, I didn't have time to fix it. Yeah. I was going to play that, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to aim right. I'm going to play for it. Sure. All day long. And, you know, you can make slight adjustments as you go along. But the great players, when you're playing your best, the ball goes where you're looking, not necessarily where you're aiming. And I watched a couple of interviews where right after the PGA, Brooks Kepka won, he was clearly not happy with his golf swing all week. Yeah. It was clear. And Pete Cowan, who helps him with his golf game, and mostly here, uh, at the end, they basically, he sort of confessed, you know, Brooks was kind of complaining on Sunday. He didn't like what, he's like, dude, it looks fine. Yeah. Go play golf. Yeah. And that's what he did. Yeah. So he didn't, he didn't, he hit it where he was looking and he didn't like where he was aiming. So it got him a pretty good trophy. Yeah, that, you know about that trophy. Face and path, that's better. So oh, yeah. I got a little draw here. That's, that might be the, in terms of the, the trajectory and flight, that might be the best one so far. All right, let's hit you one good one. Then we gotta get to a driver eventually someday. Ooh, we can hit a driver, I like that. The driver. Don't wanna overwork you here though, Mark. All right, you gotta go more left with the path. That might be the most ball speed or close to. Oh yeah. Getting rid of the hook though. Fixing it with the path, that's a pretty straight shot. You can that see is. the curve. So my aimer's off a little bit, but that curved uh, less than two yards. And that was a decent shot, 225 in the air. Fairly effective. So we're kind of getting that. A, we're getting lessons and we're testing at the same time. That's when you get a great fitting. Oh yeah. That ball speed keeps going up. Oh, well, yeah. I'm getting loose. I'm, I'm 260 with that one. Yeah, we'll quit on that. 230. 230? Karen. You're gonna end on that one? I'll end on that yeah, one. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I like that one. I like that one. Technology's a beautiful thing. <laughs> so, so, Mark, I just wanted to bring these numbers up. We can kind of talk about the best ones from each set here. So we'll start with your original club. Yes, sir. We had let's see, we had a lot of good golf shots down here. Um, we, we had a about, lot of bad golf swings with the old golf club. So, the best one here with the railing, we probably had about 207 to 212 carry on this sort of draw. Ball is going about 70 feet in the air, right? I would agree with that. We went to the three hybrid and you got 222 uh, and 246 out of it. And then we went to the five hybrid, which you theorized could be close to the four wood. And it was, it was a, a hair short, you know, 201 to 215 was kind of this big looping draw that you hit. You also had this this one at 204 carry to 218. And then you got obviously to the three wood and you were smashing the ball 225 to 241. So you were ended up carrying the ball basically with this last shot almost as far with the three wood as you were hitting it total with your, your gamer. No forward. doubt. So uh, that, I mean, and goes to show. Let's be fair with ways. the old technology. If I had a little cleaner grip, I could probably get a few more yards just yeah, from yeah. gripping. Other than that, no change. I'd have to put a T under this thing. Yeah. And I, we're talking about fairway woods. <clears throat> if you can't get your, you know, 15 or 16 degree off the ground, it's not getting up in the air good. It's it's usually one of two things. It's golf swing. Yeah. Okay. Your you know your delivery position, your delivery angle, or you you need to get more loft. Yeah. And most of us need both. 
Mm -hmm. We need a better delivery, and we need a little more loft, and yeah. we'll enjoy the game way yeah. more. Yeah, I know that's a, that's a conversation our fairies have a lot with players I is um, maybe it's not a three wood. Maybe you need a five wood as your first fairy wood, or maybe it's even seven wood. Um, but I know things have changed a ton back from the day when you were playing that club, do a two iron and a three iron. <laughs> Uh, but it's fun to it's fun to see the numbers on track for sure. And it was also really fun to watch you swing these and, and hit absolute lasers out there. Well, it so. wasn't a, wasn't a very pretty swing session, but it was oh. a it was a blast to bring this thing back out of yeah. the, out of the closet. Yeah. Well, Mark, thank you so much for the time. I think this was a lot of fun. This was awesome. I had a blast.